Virgo, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is going to be your weekly reading from the 16th through the 22nd. What's going on with you this week? I'm going to be tuning into the overall energies that you guys are dealing with in matters of love. So let's jump straight into it. The lovers. Wow, we're starting off with a bang. And you're at the bottom of the deck. Queen of Coins. I love the connectedness. Tell me more. So they're dealing with a significant relationship. Mm-hmm. Ooh, this is a soulmate, ladies and gents. This could be a past life relationship. I don't mean to be corny and, you know, so on and so forth, but Six of Cups? Jesus, this connection is felt on a deep level. I, kn I knew you were going to be in your feelings this week. There you are again, once again. Queen of Coins. Tell me more. <clears throat> so what is Virgo going to do? I see that they're dealing with a relationship that they have a sense of history with, something that is very, very profound. This could entail reconciling, or this could entail a reenkindling. Tell me more. Five of coin, five of cups. So yeah, you guys definitely did go through some sort of defeat with this individual, and yeah, it's turning around. I mean, hope was never lost in this matter, Virgo. Six of coin, uh, six of swords. Sorry. So the six of swords is all about moving on from any sense of tumultuousness. All right, moving on from any turbulence, emotional turbulence, moving on towards a peaceful state. Something here that you guys have been holding on to tightly. What is it that they've been holding on to? The, obviously, this relationship. Yeah, to the, to the idea of victory in this matter. Okay. So, Virgo and whomever it is that they're doing. Damn, we're, we're not even two minutes in and we're already this deep. Okay. So, tell me more. I want to look into this lover's. Let's, let's deconstruct this lover's energy. All right, it's five of swords. So clearly, you guys had a defeat here in this situation, but the love wasn't broken. I like that. Major defeat ensued, but love was never broken. Okay. Mm -hmm. Three of wands. Yeah, you guys could have even split or taken space for each other, separated, but there wasn't a sense of annihilating the connection. All right. There was no sense of cord cutting here. Now... Five of Wands, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of conflict and a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stagnancy, Virgo. All right. When this conflict ensued, but what is the current energy? Let's see, what is the current energy at this time? Whoa. What is the current energy at this time? What is the current energy here that Virgo is dealing with? King of Wands could be dealing with a fire sign. Very charming individual here. Could be an Aries like myself. Go figure. Um, could be a Leo, could be a Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. Let's see. Tell me more. The world of fortune. So, well, this individual has got some high hopes for you, let me tell you. High hopes, and he's got some significant amount of sexual energy that they are wanting to project towards you, is what I'm seeing here. But what's with this moon energy? Is there an element of obscurity and security? world card they want to do away with this could be dealing with an Aries here the emperor so virgo you got someone here that is quite inclined toward putting a closure to whatever it is that you guys went through in the past they want to connect with you all right they want to be vulnerable with you knight of cups they want to be vulnerable with virgo all right what about virgo how does this individual feel toward or rather how does virgo feel towards this individual was the question two of cups at the bottom of the deck tell me more how does Virgo feel about this individual? Ten of Swords. Doesn't have to be as atrocious as it looks, but this entails an ending, you know? Could be an ending of an ending, so an ending of a rough patch, or an ending that happened here and you're fucking going through something terrible. The Empress, yeah, you already grew from this. Yeah. Ten of Swords, this was completion. The Empress is here. All you need is your goddamn Emperor. All right. <clears throat> so, oh, buddy, what's this? The Fool. Yep, taking a leap of faith. This is you being done with the past. Screw the past. I know what I went through. I know what it's been through. I know where this is going. I know the potential of this situation. And I am going for it. Ten of Cups, the full energy, the Empress. Wow. Okay, Virgo, so you're definitely in love. And you're definitely inclined to moving on from whatever happened here. Moving on towards a new beginning. Ace of Wands. Queen of Coins at the bottom of the deck. You again. You're written all over this and you're looking damn fine with that Empress energy. And look who just arrived. Look who just arrived there, buddy. All right. The Empress and the Emperor. Beautiful. This is such an amazing reading. I'm going to have to cut this short because it's just too good. I mean, what's the point? You know what I mean? 
I'm here to deliver messages of clarity, of guidance to people that are stressed out. And here we are, rainbows and sunshines, ladies and gents. I mean, you guys are dealing with a soulmate, flat out. We got the soulmate energy once again. Okay? So, Virgo, I see, I saw enough of you. I know that you're over the past. You're in this energy of transmuting any darkness into light. What about your person? What's going on with this emperor that you are dealing with? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. I dated a Virgo once. The sex was extraordinary, I'll tell you that. However, however, what's going on with you? What's going on? I remember she was, I remember she would lick me. I would be drenched in sweat, right? I'm going to get naughty with you guys. Drenched in sweat on top of her. Missionary, kissing her, whatever. And this girl just licked me, like just licked my, I was like, what? Damn. <laughs> I like that dirtiness. All right, let's see. What's going on? Mm, what's going on, Virgo? <clears throat> what's going on with this individual that you're dealing with? All right, seven of wands. Seven of wands. I'm getting an element of tenacity, determination, 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 fighting for something that they believe in. What do they believe in? Transformation. Yep, the full energy just flew out. They're done. I'm fighting for this. I want a new beginning. I want a new beginning. I'm taking that leap of faith is what I am seeing in this individual's energy, Virgo. Yep, walking away from the BS. Eight of Cups. I'm done with the past. Any sorts of hindrances. It's the same sort of energy that I'm picking up with the Fool. Right? The Fool's just like, whatever. I'm done with the past. I'm getting my shit. Taking a leap of faith. What is it? I want to see what they're taking a leap of faith with. Give me something good. All right, let's see. Virgo wants to see something good. Knight of Cups. There you go. Mm -hmm. Three of Cups. Reconciliation. Ain't no mountain high enough. Nothing could stand between you and I, baby. Mm, this individual wants to get licked. All right. So, ladies, I know you like to get licked too. So, there'll be a bunch of fucking licking going on around here. Wow. Virgo, what's going on with your reading? Is there going to be licking? Is there going to be licking? Possibly. I feel like there's going to take some time before you guys notify this relationship. All right. Things need to get strained out. But, best believe, ladies and gents, this rod is coming in hard and strong. All right, Becky, look at that butt. This is sexual energy, all right, straight up. So you guys are definitely going to you guys are definitely going to get into it, that's for sure. I don't think it's going to get happen this week. You guys may may certainly get into it this week. The sun being here. But you guys will eventually, for sure. <clears throat> all right, let's see Virgo. Let's see, ladies and gents. Tell me more. What is the mutual energy between these two? Virgo and whomever it is that Virgo wants to lick. Oh, shit. I saved it. Thank God. Thank God. Let's see. <clears throat> All right. Who, let's see. Who does Virgo want to lick? What, what, what am I saying now? Fuck. Damn, you better want to lick this individual. If you want to be with them this bad, if you want, to, if you want commitment with them and, and you don't want to lick them, I don't want to read for you. All right, I'm not for you. I'm I'm for the people that like licking people. All right, <laughs> I'm fucking with you guys. <laughs> I'm kind of fucking with you, but I'm not. I'm kind of serious too. All right, let's see. What is the mutual energy here? What is the mutual energy? Mmm. There you go, baby. Mutual energy. Look at this. Don't deny this shit. All right, don't deny this shit. You want this? And they want it. I'm taking this to the extended, ladies and gents. And I'm going to continue to deconstruct your person. I'm going to look into their feelings towards you. I'm going to look into the actions that they're going to be taking towards you this week. I'm going to be looking into their mind. And I want to see what future they envision with you. I'm going to look into the near future of what actually will ensue between you and them. So if you're interested, the link to that will be in the extended. Otherwise, Virgo, your, look, your week looks extraordinary. All right, so just go with that. Go with that, buddy. Whatever it is that you're doing is working, okay? I'll see you guys next time.